What is happening, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Lunar Dark Nuzlocke. We are about to take on the Grass Gym, which is great because we have not been able to battle the gym in, like, forever. And I'm pretty stoked about it. We probably aren't going to have too hard of a time because we have Ranja and Dracula and even Happy. So, I think we'll be okay. But one thing I did want to note is that if you've been paying attention, we've been carrying this egg around for, like, ever. And it still does not seem close to hatching. And the reason for that is because this game is actually glitched for eggs. Apparently, the way to get around it uh, is that if we deposit it into the PC and then just withdraw it again, it'll start logging steps. So I don't know if that's true, but that's what people in the comments have been saying. And uh, that makes a whole lot of sense because, I mean, I've been... I ran a damn marathon with this thing and I didn't get any steps. So <laughs> now we're just going to withdraw it and we should be good to go now. So I guess we'll check on that progress later once we kind of do some more running around. But, back to business, we are going to take on the gym. And uh, let's go ahead and stick... Let's put Dracula in front first. Um, but, this is actually a sponsored video. I was uh, lucky enough to get a sponsor, so check this out. Today's video is sponsored by the Amino app. Uh, so I have actually promoted them in the past because I do think it's a pretty cool app. Uh, but they are actually introducing a new feature called Amino Stories, which are kind of just short story videos that actually stay up forever. And I am going to be creating some stories on here. I feel like this is kind of a cool avenue for me to show you guys uh, some different kinds of content. If you search up my name, go ahead and give me a follow. And you can check out my first story, which is my top five shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Uh, so I've been thinking about doing some Pokemon Go content. And I feel like this is a cool place to kind of upload that. So go ahead and give me a follow and let me know what you think. All right, so let's go whip us some grass gym leader ass, shall we? Very surprised. Oh, the, those lights are really cool with the shadows there. Very surpri surprised it's taken this long to get to another gym. But we're finally going to try to earn our next badge. And so apparently this is quite the maze. we got two options. Do I go right or left? We always go right. Right is always right. And we got ourselves a trainer. What's happening? Feel the power of my lovely grass type Pokemon. Alright, let's get it. So, uh, I mean the gym leader might be a little bit scary. They probably have some type of mega. Uh, this lady's got a nice little off-brand far far-fetched, so we're just gonna give you a nice little acrobatics, and that'll do the trick for you, buddy. Sorry about that. Would be pretty cool Pokemon, though. What else y'all got? Troll getting that experience. Troll is actually a oh, Grolium. What, what is that? Is that the uh, Groy Grolium? It's the evolved form of that. Uh, what the hell is that? That other damn thing's name? Gro. We can grow it. Groilla. Yeah, that's what it is. Evolved Groilla just basically looks exactly the same. He got the old Polyrath treatment. When it evolves, it just gets a little bit bigger. Not <laughs> anything too crazy. Next is the Tiki Tik. Uh, so we'll just stay in here. We'll just acrobatics everything. We could probably actually start using our buddy Troll. Um, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure that we're we are able to get the Evolution Stone for Troll, so we can actually evolve one more time. I'm not sure I'm, if I'm supposed to wait to learn some more moves before I do so. But Troll could be useful once we get uh, one more evolution on this thing. Should probably wait to get a couple more levels, because I assume we're going to get into some higher leveled stuff. But So yeah, let's put Ranja in front for now. And uh, Which way do I go? Up or down? Let's go down. Okay, that definitely was not the right way, because it just leads here. And this goes into a whole different area. What, what is, what's going on here? We're just going to keep going up, I guess, maybe? Hello? <laughs> Am I just supposed to run around aimlessly? Alright, this is the same same lady, so we just go up this time. And then, oops. Wait, what the hell just happened? Oh, it just puts you down, that's why. Okay, uh, we'll just go up from here. Where am I going? Who had the time to build this treehouse? What is this? I feel like I'm going to end, end up back at the beginning again. Yep. <laughs> Which way haven't I gone? Okay, we go... We go up. And then down this way? I don't even... At this point, I don't even freaking know. This looks different, though. Are we? Yeah. Hey, we found a new guy. What's up, buddy? You want to battle against Bailey? That's fine. But first, battle me. Sounds good. What is this guy? What trainer class are you? Oh, he's Ace Trainer. Okay, Ace Trainer Ford here. Young Henry Ford's got himself a brachio, and we have an overpowered ass Ranja. I'm kind of bummed that Ranja doesn't even evolve. I mean, it. I mean, it's got a pretty decent design already, but. I was excited for this thing to evolve eventually, but unfortunately it does not. Next is the Woodbeak. I guess we'll, we'll just stay in here. I mean, we could try out Troll. My best option for these is going to be 
um, beat up just because it's dab. But then we have an egg in our party, which only lets it hit five times. And I'm afraid of it getting knocked out. Honestly, it's like my worst fear. I spent so much damn time training this thing. And then watch something's just going to get a crit on it. So maybe we'll wait for it to be a couple levels. I don't know. Flamethrower going to kill your Groilium. Groilium. I cannot pronounce I cannot pronounce half of these damn things' names. That was impressive. Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal, guy. Kind of a big deal. And uh, then we'll go down this way, and then another guy. What's up? Be careful of the flowers. What? I don't, there's not even any flowers in here. You have one little... You got a little house plant, but okay. Gardener Foster has a Groilum. So level 48, a little bit scary. Um, I feel like these things probably evolve again. Is it... Does it? Or maybe not. I don't know. Just looking a little bit anticlimactic, Groilum. We do get to 57 there. Looking nice. Next is the stick cut. We love us some stick cuts. Badass boy. Level 48. So, expecting the gym leader to have around 50. With some unidentified mega that we have never seen before. I couldn't protect them. I mean, if they have a mega, I don't... I would assume so, since we've gotten into kind of the mega evolution stage of this game, it seems like. We'll put Happy in front, because I feel like Ice Kill Crash or Quick Attack can one-hit KO most things, but I guess we'll see. The special flowers are hidden. You'll have trouble finding them. Wait, am I supposed to be looking for flowers? Hold on here. Garwin, please let me know here. Okay, he's got a stick cut. 48. And uh, we got a sparkly boy. So guess what? Checkmate, stick cut. So Ice Kill Crash, pretty much overkill on things. We get to 56 there. And troll 47. Nice. Next is the Brachio. So we'll just stay in on this thing. I think it's flying. What, what even? No, not flying. I have to, for some reason, I think Tropius when I see this thing. You look like a little Tropius boy. Looking pretty handsome over there, you female Brachio. So I guess not handsome, but you, you get the idea. Seems like it needs a little bow tie or something. Maybe you won't. Okay, wait. What? Do I go down or up? We're going to go up. And it does lead to somebody new, so I guess we're going the right way. Flower power. That lady looks smug as hell. What you looking at? Karen, you're a little pale. These people are all vegetarians. The gardeners are the vegetarians of the Poke World. Um, we're just going to save our icicle crashes in case we need them, and quick attack will probably do it anyway. Yep. One hit KOs pretty much all around. Thank you for that. Next is the Woodbeak. All right, so not a whole lot of variation in this damn place. What is up with that? Y'all gotta bust out some cooler stuff. All right, down goes the Woodbeak. I'm ready to take on the gym leader. Am I here yet? How many trainers are there? I'm gonna continue going up. And another ace, we got an ace trainer though. I'm an ace in training, grass Pokemon. Let me show you. Well, let's see it then. Fort, Fortesta? Fortessa, not Testa. Fortessa, sick name you got there. Uh, so, these Tiki Ticks got that drought. But we are not afraid. I like his little hula, his little hula skirt. Freaking adorable. Next is a no. Would, who would have guessed a freaking Brachio? All these grass trainers, they don't have much to choose from. It seems like. I feel like there's, I feel like there's a lot of grass options in this game. Why do you all have the same damn thing? I bet that has, I bet that's the mega thing. The evolved form of Brachio. Probably gonna be mega. I'm excited. I'm also gonna be very disappointed if he doesn't ha have a mega. But you never know. All right, we are gonna grow to 57 here. Hot damn, we're gonna be. Ooh, trying to learn Swords Dance. Yes, we're definitely. We should probably learn that. Um, I'm just gonna get rid of Bulldoze. We do have the TM for that anyway. So if I decide to learn that, that'll be fine. Um, but for the most part, Bulldoze isn't all that useful. So nice. Ooh, and we have. Oh, oh shit! I thought I just. <laughs> I thought I just stepped in a booby trap. But I went right down the same ladder. Alright, so we've arrived. And he actually has a PC here, but we're not able to not able to use it. So that's unfortunate. But hey, what's happening, buddy? We are going to go ahead and just lead with Ranja. How about that? He pray, I, I'm sure he has something for fire types, but I don't know. What's up, guy? You made it, Hayden. Great. Wasn't this adventure in Tropic Jungle an overwhelming one? Sure was. So this is my gym. I focus on grass-type Pokemon. They're so connected to nature, and I love that. I feel like I have a special bond with the grass-types. So you ready to battle? Let's do this. Straight into the point. Let's get it. I, I always I always change the lead. I'm, I'm afraid to click on that. Then I remember that we can do this. All right, we're just gonna enter you. We're gonna enter you, and we'll enter you. 
And, ooh, we get to have four. Definitely bring in Donna. All right. So good old-fashioned 4v4. Let's get it. First gym battle in about six fortnights. And it's this boy, Bailey. Uh, so he leads off with a Brachiodon. Okay, ooh, level 50. So a little bit scary. He's coming at us with some heat. He's not playing games. If his first is level 50, that is going to be a decent fight then, I guess. Although, Ranja is an absolute beast. That flamethrower. Doing about little damage. Oh, shit, it does have Earthquake. Alrighty uh, then. Knocks us down to 30 HP. And, uh, wow. That could have been really bad. Did not expect that thing. I, for some reason, I don't know. Okay, we're going to go ahead and switch into Dracula. Predict an Earthquake here. Jesus, bro. See, if I was any lower... No, he predicts the switch and goes for the Giga Drain. This guy's a beast. Bailey's not playing games today. Okay, we are going to be able to kill you with an acrobatics, though. But hot damn. Yeah, if I was any lower of a level, I would have probably died to that. I'm glad that wasn't a crit, though. All right. So one down, three to go. Next is a Woodon. Absolutely no idea what the hell a Woodon is, so we're going to stay in here. And, ooh, it's... It, <laughs> The far-fetched thing does evolve, and he gets a flower on his tail. Would you look at that? Um, I'm trying to think about what this thing might possibly have to do to me. We're just going to acrobatics, yo. Because I don't think we're in too much danger, unless it busts out rock freaking stone edge. But, yep, yeah, that's like, actually going to knock it out. So, down you go, buddy. Next is the... T Ooh, the <laughs> tiki thing has an evolution. Nice. Um... We can go into happy for that, just to maybe conserve Dracula. But maybe that's a bad idea, because it's probably got a scary grass move. You know what? Fuck it. We're just staying in. Acrobatics all day. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this thing. It look, it does, this does not look like a Pokemon. But alright, we're just going to go ahead and give you an acrobatics and see and hope for the best. It's level 52. So this thing probably has the ability to hit us pretty damn hard. But maybe acrobatics Oko's here? Probably not. It does! <laughs> Look at that. Dracula. The absolute beast. Only five levels higher. And then we have Kong Gorilla. That is the evolved, the freaking full-on gorilla thing. Okay. For this, we're just going to stay in. Because Dracula seems to be handling. And I knew it. Jesus Christ, it's level 54. And that absolutely scares the shit out of me. Okay. Does it have... Uh, is he gonna hit me with something super effective? I'm honestly afraid here. Should I switch into Donna? It's level- dude, fuck, we're only a level higher with Donna. I think I'm gonna go into Donna here. It's probably gonna Mega Evolve. And I feel like my best bet is to switch into this thing and just kind of see what it's gonna go for. Ooh, I don't know. This is, uh, this is bad. I mean, we're neutral to grass. Honestly, it seems like Donna would have better defense. I am afraid. Or do I just stay in here in acrobatic set? I think I'm just going to stay in an acrobatic set. I don't want to risk Donna dying. But let's go for that. And it's just going to hit us with leaf darts. Oh, okay. That's totally fine. It, it didn't actually... I was expecting a mega evolution. Maybe the gym leaders don't mega. But that's, that's fine. And uh, we'll see how you like this, buddy. Acrobatics actually just knocks it out. Because I think it's, it's fighting grass. So flying is definitely going to do the trick. Dracula, trying to learn Memento. Ooh, definitely going to go ahead and not do that. Thank you. All right. Well, we have done it. Right, this guy had some really high-level stuff. I didn't expect him to have a level 54. Sweet Jesus. Congrats on the win, Hayden. Here's your badge. And we get ourselves, finally, boys, a new badge to add to the layout. Would you look at that? The nature badge. So, uh, thank you. Also, here's a gift. And we get TM-105 for leaf darts. Which is kind of cool. It's a move that launches razor sharp leaves at your opponent before they can react. If your Pokemon's aim is good, it can hit up to three times. I will continue my research. Please visit me anytime. Well, cool. That wasn't too bad at all. We can go ahead and get on out of here. Nobody is dead. We call that a success. And now we get to see... Oh, okay. Freaking Rodney's here. Just waiting for me. My stalker. It's you, Hayden. Don't act like you weren't waiting for me, buddy. You've already beaten the gym leader of Green Pine City. Oh man, you're always faster than me. Anyways, I spoke with Rex and the Professor. They don't have any new information. Well, what the hell have they been doing? So that we should continue our journey without worrying about Team Solar or Lunar. They will call us if they have new information. By the way, did you know where to go now? The next gym is in Subhale City. 
You have to go south from here, but there will be many obstacles in between. But now I have to battle Bailey, but I hope to catch up to you. See you soon. All right, so we don't have to battle him because he has to go still to do his gym battle. And uh, so nothing really new happening in terms of the evil guys. So I guess we're just going to continue to go ahead and keep on whooping some gym leader asses. And I'm assuming by the end of the next gym, will probably be some crazy stuff right before the eighth gym. I don't know. All right, but the team is nice and healed up. Now let's actually go ahead and stick... We could stick Troll in front. Level 47, we could probably... Could probably hold our own against regular trainers. I don't know. We'll see. So we're going to head south from here. And let's actually take a look at the old Poke Gear. So, uh, yep, quite the journey. As uh, we have Syro Town, and then... Jesus, Snow Peak, and then Subhale. Wait, what the... F my God. There's all sorts of towns down this way. So I guess, uh... We're going to see what's happening. Route 16, and would you look at that, it's snowing. But it's also beautiful out. So we'll snag this here, Ask Pearberry. And we can actually catch the first wild Pokemon we come across here. So let us see what we can get. But first, we're going to steal this Max Revive, which we have absolutely no use for, but that's totally fine. And uh, we didn't get any Pokemon there, so it must not be fate. A young one, shall I teach you a lesson? I'll teach you a lesson, old man. I don't know how many times I have to teach you this lesson, old man. He's got a husk pup. Nice. Well, hey, look at that. That's definitely something Troll can kill because we know that husk pups are frail as shit. You breathe on these things wrong and they die. So a brick break is going to do the trick. See you later, pupperino. Uh, so the hail is kind of annoying. We get freaking hit by that. And next is the husk gold. Hey, this guy evolved his husk pup. So we finally are able to see the evolution of this thing. It's level 47 as well. We're just going to still give you a nice little brick break as, ooh, it actually goes first. Ice Fang, no. Thank you, Jesus. And we karate chop you right in the doggo. Doesn't quite knock it out, which is unfortunate. And this hail is scary. I'm afraid to be using Troll right now. So we're going to switch, and we're going to go right into that boy Ranjin. So very weird how they hit you with a level 44, or 54 in the gym, and then right the next trainer's... I mean, I guess, I guess 47 is pretty decent, but I feel like that's probably on par. I don't know. Well, Flamethrower's going to do it. I'm just a little bit over-leveled on my main team. But at least we have Troll to be kind of raising up here. Also, when that Dragon Egg hatches, might have something else to add. Or we could use that freaking Legendary we got. We got options out here. We got options. Uh, we should also go ahead and heal up. Because I would like to use... I'm just going to Super Potion. I, wanna, I would like to use Troll as much as possible. Rather than just EXP chart training, I should have just used a hyper, but two supers does the job, and alright. So let's see what we can find in this grass. Probably going to be a cool ice type, maybe, since it's snowy here. First encounter here is, hey, it's a wild husk pup. But, we don't need you. But what I will do, buddy, is actually just kill you. Because we know that you're easy EXP. Thank you, sorry, hate to do it. Young ghost. So don't get a whole lot of experience. I guess I could put the EX or the uh, the lucky egg on, but burr, it's getting colder in this area. So how about a battle to warm up? Well, we're gonna go ahead and warm this guy up with a nice little battle. Might have to bust out Ranja and flamethrower him. And he's got a Rhinolar. This thing is adorable. I have no idea what it's gonna do to me though, and I really hope that we're, it looks like it's a nice Rhino. I'm gonna go ahead and brick break you, buddy. So. Super effective doesn't quite nice knock it out. Icicle Crash is fucking scary. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Every time Troll gets hit with something, I'm afraid. Alright, one more Brick Break though is going to do it. And we're going to get to 48 now, so we're a little bit more strong, a little bit stronger, so that's good. What do you got next? So much hail. Next is a Batik. No idea what the hell a Batik is. So in that case, we're going to use Donna, who fell a little bit behind there, because we didn't use it much. Could have been poison jabbing them grass types, but it's fine. Batik, look at this thing. It looks like uh, looks like it would be shiny for some reason. We're going to give you a stone edge, though. Right to the wings. Poke some holes in your wings, sir. And you're dead. All right. Abraham has been defeated. We get $2,000. And we are going to go ahead and do a nice little heal up again. Let's actually just use these hypers. We have a whole bunch of them. We have 25. We are stocked up for this long journey, which this route is going to give us. Because it seems like we've got quite the ways. Okay, let's actually cut this down. Because there's, there's got to be something. If they just place a random cut tree, it's going to be like a full restore. 
Ooh, TM-64 for explosion. Just what I was looking for. Trying to kill my Pokemon. What's up? Ah, this rat is amazing. Let me show you what I've caught here. Cool. So I guess we'll kind of see. We probably have that Rhino thing around here. Rosita has a... Ooh. Look at this little guy. A Roar Eye? My god. You almost hate to kill it. It's going to hit us with a Frost Breath. This is actually faster. Oh, fucking critical hit. Knocks us down to 24. This thing is adorable, but a killer. Oh, Jesus. This hail is going to even knock us close. I guess it's to 16. Okay. You know what? Maybe we're going to hold off on using Troll. That is probably my cue to uh, be afraid to <laughs> use that thing quite yet. Should probably be like 50. Oh, my Jesus. Now it discharges, predicts the switch, and oh, my God. And gets the para. This thing about killed happy too. Jesus. Who is this thing? Am I... My God. I'm afraid for everything. I can't bring in Dracula. Ranja doesn't really want to come in. Do I go into Donna and expect the electric attack again? That's what we're going to do. Oh my God. This little thing almost killed. It are 10 levels lower than me. Aurora. What the fuck are they feeding you? Okay. It does discharge. Um... Can you hit me with an attacking bit? Am, am I even going to be faster than this fucking thing? This, this little guy seems like he'd be quick. I'm just going to, okay, yep, we're going to kill you with a drill run. My god! That scared the shit out of me. Electric ice type? Yo, that thing is badass. If I could find one of these as my first encounter, I'm going to be stoked. Alright, my god. Let us definitely heal. Um, let's actually use a full restore on Happy. Seems like the better option. We'll get rid of that para. Okay. So we're not going to be using Troll, seeing as Happy almost freaking died from something. I'm going to definitely fuck around and kill something. So, you know, we're going to put Donna in front, and it seems pretty safe. And now we can finally run around in this grass and see what the hell's going on in here. So we do get an encounter, and ooh, it's a little bunnick. I don't know what you are, but I, I like you, little ice boy. Okay. The hail is actually quite unfortunate also. Let's go ahead and spiky shield and see what this thing's going to even try to do. A little ice bunny. He's going to lucky chance. Ooh. Ooh, okay, okay. Um, so I am afraid to weaken this thing. It gets hit by the hail, though, which is interesting. Let's switch into Happy here. Because I feel like Happy's got the upper hand against the little bunny. It's going to hold back. What the hell is that? That was a crit. Damage, boy. The good thing about Happy being out here is we don't actually get hit by the hail. And I guess we're just going to start throwing some balls at this thing. To be honest, I also need to probably buy some balls because I only have 18 ultras. But let's see what we can do. See if we're able to catch this thing here. And we are. All right. First try with the ultra ball. Don't even need to weaken it. We just let the hail do it. All right. So cool. Let's see what this thing is working with. It is a normal fairy type. A favorite among young trainers due to its adorable appearance, especially its fluffy fur, which it grew to adapt to adopt to the extreme climates of the tundra. Well, cool. Uh, so this thing reminds me of uh, freaking cereal. So you know what? We're going to name you Trix. Trix are for kids. All right. Put you in box two. We also are able to grab a max ether here, which is nice. We always appreciate a nice little max ether for the boys. And then what else do we have here? Ooh, it's a little reindeer on Move Fork. <laughs> Look at this little Rudolph fella. I love him. But we're going to run from you. And we shall continue. This guy looks scary. A cold breeze is at, he's the best. I'll show you. Why is your hair so crazy, man? I understand you. Are these the bird guys? Yeah, these are the bird guys. Bird Keeper Maggie's got a Flapinko. It's a little freaking flamingo. I love it. What a, what a type is this thing? We're going to Stone Edgy either way, which will probably do it. Level 45. So yeah, we have like 10 levels on this damn thing. That's not even like that. That's just a regular looking ass flamingo. It doesn't even have anything crazy about it. Like, what's up with that? Do get hurt by some freaking hail. And next is a puffle. Is puffle? Is, is puffle happy? Hold up. Hold up. Is puffle what I think it is? I don't even remember. I don't even remember the names of stuff. Puffle. It, no. No. Oh no. Not at all. Puffle is a little puffin. A puffin. Puffin. Puffin is what it is. This thing is awesome looking. Yo, how do I get one of you? And where? Um, we're just going to flamethrow you, though. 
don't know what type this thing freaking is, but it is probably ice type. That is actually a really cool, really cool mon. I like, I like Puffles. All right. Next is a Dove Heart. So for Dove Heart, we have all sorts of shit for that. We're just gonna go right back into Donna, who does need just a tad bit more experience for me to be careful. Little Dove Heart, huh? Catch this poison jab, boy. And we are gonna grow to 56, which is nice. So we'd be out here making that progress. Slowly but surely. And Troll's getting a little bit too. Lot of cold air. Man, these routes are, I feel like, gonna be a little bit scary for us. Let's go ahead and, um, we will Super Potion. Just to give you a little bit of a, a little bit of a boost there, buddy. Okay. Continuing, we'll see what else we can find here. Oh, just another husk pup. So I knew we would probably be able to find husk pups in the wild. But damn, it was a long time after we got ours. As long as we can go right. Which, oh, uh-oh, something's going down. Of course it's this douche. Hello, sir. Ah, what's going on, weakling? Bro, I've beat you every time on your way to Syro, Syro Town, huh? I can tell you there is nothing special, a really boring place. I was wasting my time visiting it. How about a battle? You're still behind on your journey, so you shouldn't be a problem for me. Well, damn. Was not expecting another rival battle here, but here we got freaking Rich, aka Rick. And he has six Pokemon, so sweet Jesus. All right. He's got a Miss Tablet, level 49. Do these, are these the... Download Racing Special Attack. Are these the things that fucking levitate? I think it does levitate, doesn't it? Do I try to drill run it? I'm gonna try to drill run it. No, it doesn't. Okay, we're good. Defense form, freaking... Oh my god, I lived it. Do you have Sturdy? What the hell's going on here? Hits us with a Mind Blast. Oh, Jesus. No, 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 no! <laughs> oh my god. It's Psychic type. It had Mind Blast. <sighs> I physically hurt from seeing that happen. And it's gonna die from the hail. Bruh. So, Donna goes down. I am down to like, oh my god, three of my, three high level mods now. Dude. Donna, <laughs> no. Rip Donna. Well, we're gonna go into happy because of the hail. But dude, why is it always these late episode oh my god the dino dinopian here this is not the thing i wanted to go into because that thing is fire or fighting i mean let's go into ranja maybe is this thing gonna use a fighting move that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go into ranja wow that really bummed me out okay dragon claw is gonna hurt okay it does less than half though but with that hail, this shit's scary, man. I don't even know what I can do to this thing. Okay, it's level 52. We're level 57. We are going to heal here because we need to play this shit safe. We have already lost a crucial member to the team. Cannot afford to lose another. I literally, I cannot afford to lose another. More Dragon Claws. I could just Will-O-Wisp this thing. Dude, see, that did, that did more damage. Oh my god. Or I just sit here in hyper potion until. Oh god damn it! Why does this guy have to have six Pokemon too? He really breaking my balls, Rick. Really breaking my balls. More Dragon Claws. Okay. Uh, do I try to just go for the Will O Wisp here? If I miss the Will O Wisp, I'm screwed. I literally don't know what to do against this thing. I could just switch into Dracula. Who I know can take an attack from this thing. And then probably kill with acrobatics. What do I do? What do I do? I want to land a will o -Wisp, but I'm just so afraid of that missing. Um, you know what? We're going to go into Dracula. Because I'm pretty sure acrobatics kills. Dude, this guy has the scariest fucking team ever. Oh my god, and that was a crit too. Why are you doing this to me? Why? Why? I can't believe that fucking tablet was psychic type. I had no idea. 
Maybe I had seen evidence of that thing being psychic type earlier, but I fucking damn it. Okay, uh, we're gonna hyper you. This did not work out because that critical hit scared me, so we're just gonna keep on. Now it's gonna iron head. Okay, that's gonna do not very much. That's fine. The hail has knocked this thing down to where. I'm pretty sure an acrobatics kills you. Yeah, this is that fun. What? I didn't even realize. Okay, yeah, never mind. We're, we're good. Acrobatics, right to your damn bandaged hands, and you're dead. All right, so two down, thankfully. Trying to learn submission. Okay, troll, I see you, buddy. Why do you want to be a fighting type so bad? Also, who hurts the user slightly? We're gonna we're gonna give up on submission. Okay, what's next? Probably something I have no clue what it even is. Okay, um, it's gonna be a Terex site. That's the um, T Rex guy. Are we going to happy for this? I think, right? Terexite? Sounds exciting. Yeah, okay, so fire T-Rex. Um, we give you a Scald, I believe. What I should have done is just let off with freaking Happy. Got up a Swords Dance and then quick attacked everything. That would have been the ideal scenario, but I was not ready for this <laughs> damn rival battle. Alright, next is a Nataron. What the fuck even is that? Where are you getting these things? Okay, it's that. Um, you probably have a rock move, don't you? But Scald kills you, I think. I'm pretty sure. Please burn if it doesn't kill. Jesus, okay. Thank God it does. This dude has the most intense team ever. My God, okay. And then a cast spring. So that's just a little jumpy boy. We can, we can handle that. I love how he has all these, like, crazy dinosaur-ass prehistoric motherfuckers and then just bumps, busts out a little... A little Caspering. Ooh, it's gonna Swords Dance though, which is actually very scary. But this Acrobatic should kill it. Seven levels higher. Yep, Caspering, you dead as hell. I'm so afraid playing this game. You think you're over leveled, and then some bullshit happens where you lose Donna. Jesus, okay. Uh, next is the Taxi Toad, which I believe is. What, is, what, the, what the hell is Taxi Toad again? Should I go into Happy? I think I'm just gonna go into happy. It seems it seems like the safest option. Here we go, happy. Here you go, taxi toad. Oh, okay. We have not seen. So this is the evolution of the little poison toad boy. It's level 49. Um, we're gonna give you an ice school crash and miss. Um, terrible time to miss, buddy. This is gonna bubble beam. Oh, okay. That, <laughs> that's fine. Is this thing water type? I didn't think this thing was water type. Have we seen taxi toad? Are you fucking? What are you? What even What even are you, sir? Really wish I would have not missed that ice school crash. Okay, so it's just neutral. Now it's just gonna toxic me, which is mostly just annoying, but it looks like we are gonna at least win. We did not lose the Nuzlocke today, but we did lose a dear friend, and that makes me extremely sad. But down goes the toad, and Rick has been defeated. I'm still better. Are you sure about that, sir? Never mind, my Pokemon are exhausted after the unnecessary tour to Sario Town. Don't think you win don't think you win means anything. <laughs> Going to Crystal Cave now. You better put on warm clothes for this. Catch you later, loser. Well So he did kill pretty much my favorite Pokemon, which is extremely sad. But we are gonna go ahead and fly the hell on out of here. Cause we gotta go bury our buddy, which is super sad. Okay, we're just gonna fly right back to Green Pine. And, uh, oh man, you hate to see it. That was so bad. All right, actually, wait, do I need to, what item do you have, Donna? Hello? Oh, wait, it didn't even, I thought you, I thought I gave you, I thought I gave you a hold on it. Maybe you would have survived if I gave you an item. Dude, I can't believe that fucking thing lived with like one HP and then killed me in one hit. What was that? Why? Why does the world hate me? So, Donna is dead, and you really hate to see it. I guess the good news is, though, we get to grab somebody completely new. We have this shiny, we could just replace it with Ballin so we could switch into this thing real quick. We do actually, that would be a good, that would be a good switch. I think we're gonna grab, we're gonna grab you. Other shiny boy, Ballin's level 38, we do need to do quite a bit of training to you, but you could be useful someday. And I guess we'll wait for this egg to hatch to kind of figure out what else we're gonna do with the team, but for now, I think we're in at least a decent spot. So, 
We're going to get a nice little heal going. And, uh, yeah, we're going to end the episode here. But next time, we're going to try to not kill stuff. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.